I was born in, in New York, American citizen. I had the pleasure of going to Harvard, did an MBA there, uh, and benefited from many other scholarships and fellowships. But for me, I was uh, born in New York but raised in Ireland. Uh, the connections between Ireland and the United States for me personally uh, are very, very important. Uh, my wife is from New York, and my four children all have American passports. We're Yankee fans and watch NBC most nights. <laughs> so we're very American focused. So anything that develops the cultural, economic and social understanding between the United States and Ireland is important to me. And also I think is important to Ireland. Uh, I come from the west of Ireland and right across the western seaboard every family have has nearly every family has deep connections with the United States. It's not just a connection of convenience or of nearness in the sense of being the nearest country in Europe, it's a connection of blood and uh, if I go back in my family I've been emigrating to America for hundreds of years. So outside of Ireland there's really few countries, perhaps the UK, uh, that, that are in any, any ways as important to Ireland uh, as the United States and long that may that continue and events like this is something uh, that should be occurring. Uh, we should continually, uh, a road not travelled gets uh, weeded over. You, you need to constantly re -en uh, enrich uh, the, cu the cultural connection uh, between the countries. So from, for today, it's great reunifying people that mightn't have seen each other for quite some time. Uh, uh, as time goes on, the United States is realizing, and, and, and rightly so, that uh, soft power is more important than hard power. And there's enormous goodwill towards the United States, which the United States doesn't really take advantage of. So again, uh, events like this uh, can, re can encourage uh, the United States and certainly State Department officials to see just what the, the extent of the goodwill that's out there. I'll be speaking on both education and diaspora, and uh, in particular the diaspora. There is approximately 40 million Irish Americans uh, and uh, this, is a, this is an asset that this country has never really reached out to and, ha and handled well. It's kind of like a pot without a handle but there are initiatives underway that will absolutely get these, uh, the diaspora uh, working far more closely with Ireland and I think that's going to be a dramatic change in Irish American relations uh, over the next five to ten years is the systematic development of the Irish diaspora uh, in America and I think it's, it can only be a very very positive thing for both countries.